Hello, my lovelies. Today, I'm going to talk to you about brushes. More specifically, round brushes and how big they are. When it comes to brushes, size does matter. Some people like to go right for the big boy. This one is a good three and a half to four inches wide in diameter. Extremely large. It's perfect for longer hair because as many times around the brush as it will go, that's how much curl you're going to get. So if your hair is extremely long, it's going to wrap around this brush a few times. So either you wanna use this to get impeccably straight hair or a slight wave in very, very long hair. And a lot of people get confused with this brush. I think it's because they think bigger, more volume when actually it's the opposite. When you're blow drying your hair and you use an extremely large brush like this, it's going to make the hair flatten out across the barrel of the brush. What that's doing is actually pressing it down more into a straight place. A few good things about the very large round brush. It makes extremely long hair much more manageable. So instead of trying to wrap that long, long hair around a brush that's maybe this size, that's gonna get tangled, it's gonna get knotted. You go in with this and you'll still get a nice slight bend if you really wanted to, it's just on a grander scale. Now let's say you have medium length hair and you, you don't necessarily want it to be curly, but you don't necessarily want it to be completely flat. You just want some kind of a slight bend. The amount of times that your hair wraps around the brush is actually what's going to determine how much bend you get in your hair. Now, unless you're doing a curly twisting blowout technique, that's gonna be, this is what decides how much bend goes into your hair. Brush number two, we use for slight bend, a little bit of volume, medium length hair. Brush number three, maybe my most frequently used brush because it will give tremendous amount of volume. It will bend the root, but also allowing enough times for the hair to make it around to give it some nice wave. So unless we're doing a super curly blowout, I would use this for almost every length of hair between medium to long. It, it just somehow, it's like a little sweet spot. So when you're thinking of buying a brush and you wanna have versatility with it, this could straighten out your hair. If you have layers, you could just pull them out. If you wanted a little curl, you could twist it. I would recommend getting a brush about this size. This is probably an inch and a half to two inches. Brush number four. This one is about one inch wide. This one I use almost as much as the last brush. It's slightly smaller, it's tight, Apart from finger drying, this brush would probably be the best for grabbing those little tiny baby hairs along the hairline, kind of bending them, blowing them gently rather than grabbing with a big brush and getting them lost. And that's how you actually end up with those, these things where they stick straight out and get overblown and then they end up breaking more. They're not long enough to actually bend around it. So of course they're just gonna get caught up and just stick straight out. So I would recommend this brush to do a nice tight wave or for shorter hair or to collect hair that you don't want to be sticking out. So I hope that clears up a lot of your questions about what size brush to choose. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments. I will be happy to answer and I will see you guys soon. Good luck.